Oh, nice and quiet. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Iron Promotions press conference for our show, Clash of the Titans, next week on the 30th. Um, as you can see, there's obviously a few bottlers not turned up, or people saying they're last minute training, working, something like that. Um, uh, as you all are probably aware, if you're on Facebook and things like that, the fight was originally meant to be between um, Luke, the golden boy Robinson, versus um, uh, Rich, the, the, the let down love day. <laughs> um, obviously, he pulled out through lack of training, but I just found out he's been training this morning, went for a nice little run. Straight to the chippy van and then back. <laughs> um, so unfortunately that fight isn't happening now, which we're a little bit gutted about because obviously Luke wanted to get on the show, but he's going to be there supporting his other lads from Scrappers um, and the rest of the boxers, he's a good sportsman. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring up what fighters we do have here today, uh, have a little chat with them, get a few photos taken, see what they've got to say about their opponent, and then we'll move, uh, move forward from there. I apologise about the feedback. Um, but we'll try and just work with it for now. So and there's a bit of a grudge there, isn't there? Obviously, you fought each other before. You just, like you said, said, lost by one punch. Um, yeah? How do you lose by one punch? I wonder. He just caught me clean. And then he just held me back in the corner until that belt went. And I was actually told by the referee after the fight, it was literally that one clean shot that gave Faz the win, otherwise it was a draw. He told me the same thing. 25 of the two rounds before didn't count to it at all. Talk about that, cheers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Hank Green, please. Do you want to go around? Is it easier? Can you get the I mean, I can turn sideways, but do pretty much the same all the way around. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, actually, I, did anybody see this guy's workout video? Yeah. It is available in, on DVD very shortly from Gary Sterling, ladies and gents. It was great. I love that one where you know you push like this, but the best it was when you when you sort of run back, you had to just check where you were going because you nearly fell off every tip. I loved it. I thought it was great. Like the bloopers reel. Um, and so you're going to be really going for your third win here against the Man Mountain. How are you feeling? Are you ready? Are you fit? Um, as fit as I'll ever be, I reckon. I'm feeling good though. I'm, I'm more than up for it, I'm more than ready, so. That's as fit as you'll ever be? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, because some of these celebs get right down. They can do it. All you've got to do is buy Kerry Katona's DVD, and I reckon you'll lose at least three bra sizes. <laughs> <laughs> so you've seen. Um... He's the first one to grab them, though. That's the thing. <laughs> miss I love them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've got a lot of support coming on the day? Yeah, I've sold a lot of tickets and obviously you've always got the boys at Scrappers to, to come along and support us as well. Um, I think the difference is they take it a lot more seriously than I do. I do it for a laugh, I do it to get rid of a bit of extra aggression, and I do it because I enjoy the support and the band that's good with the boys. I thought you were going to say get them a bit extra weight then. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Matty, when was the last time you were in a white collar fight, man? Last time promotion. It was the last time promotion, so the last time you fought was on our show. Have you been doing a lot since then, training wise and everything like that? Uh, seven months from Ibiza. <laughs> yes, good training for those guns. Like it. Uh, Chris, um, so you've had four white collar fights now. Yeah. Um, and how have they gone for you? Uh, lost one. Lost all four? Yeah. Sorry, right, mate, it's taking part of the count, isn't it? <laughs> um, lost all four. Is there going to be anything different about this one? Oh, I haven't had a fight for three years now, so first time back in three years. First time back in three years. You've been training for it. You ready for next Saturday? 100%. Okay, Ben, we're going to come to you. How many white collars have you had now? Is it three? Three, yes. Three, and how have they gone for you? Uh, all wins. All wins? Yep. Could have doubled it down a little bit before. We could have brought the kids up. <laughs> um, all right, okay, so we've had three fights, they're all wins. You're fighting a guy who's had four fights, been out the ring for three years, and had all losses. I think Carl must have matched this one up a little bit somewhere along the lines. <laughs> what have you fought on before? What shows have you fought on? Nelson's, Nelson's show and uh, White Clubs. I can't really say much against that because the Nielsen show is kind of similar to ours. Maybe ours is a little bit better. <laughs> Touch. As the Nielsen's have now moved to the Grange, Johnny. Um, or, or Mecca, I can't. Make up your mind, Tony, come on. Um, so you fought on the Fight Club though, which is, you know, small fry. That's fine. Um, ladies and gents, 
First, actually, what do you reckon, Ben? What's the outcome going to be? Um, I knew about his record. I'm not going to take anything for granted, so I'm going in there as best as I can be, going in there to get the win. Okay, you're going in there to get the win. Uh, and Chris, you're going in there, obviously, hard, three years out. Uh, you're, you're obviously, I mean, let's face it, everyone says we're going for the win. So you've got to go for the win, but give me a bit of a prediction. What round is he going to beat you in? <laughs> <laughs> what round are you going to beat him in? <laughs> You know, just that fist bit of talking on the night, to be honest with you. Okay, fantastic. Please, a round of applause for these guys over here. For those of you that don't know Chippy, you've obviously never been to boxing in Swindon because he's been on every show, fights pretty much every week, and I don't think I've been tagged in a status like every day unless it's off Chippy about, he's still got tickets for sale. Please, I don't know if you knew that. Okay? Chippy, well done, come on down, mate. It's good to have you back again. Like. Just not this one at the moment, because I'm going to save this one for one of the guys going for the belt. Uh, Chippy, you're going to go against Boz. Uh, you've both been doing a bit of training down the same gym, so sometimes there's a bit of friction there. How are you feeling about this one? Uh, I feel great about it. Uh, yeah, how do you say? Did you say you feel great about it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I feel great about the fight. Yeah, I train at Scrappers, I train at the Arena, Scorpion Gym, anywhere I can, really. And it's going to be a great fight. He's both has a tricky little customer I've ever dealt with. But yeah, I'm coming in there to win, whether it's by knockout or points. So I hope he brings his A-game. Right. Okay, and you know, Boswell's, Boswell's been out for a while. Carl, is it, is it two years now? Boss has been out two years. Um, you definitely haven't been out two years, have you? Because you're pretty much fighting. You fight tonight, anywhere? Did you fight last night, anywhere? Okay, well, that's, that's the first, ladies and gents, a weekend when Chippy's not fighting. Um, but you're feeling fit for next week. Yeah. Um, friend of mine just phoned me, he wants some tickets. Have you got any left? Yeah, okay, cool, just making sure. So you think next week, Boz has been out for two years, you've both been doing your bits of training, but you're going in there to get the win by knockout or by points. Yeah. Which one do you think? Which one are you, how are you going to get the win? Hopefully one knockout. Hopefully one knockout. Give me a round, give me a prediction on rounds. Four doesn't count. <laughs> second. Second round. Okay, you heard it here. Boz, he's going to knock you out in the second round, okay? Yeah? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Boz, he's coming to knock you out in the second round. So we look forward to seeing you there on the night. Round of applause for Chippy, ladies and gents. It doesn't bother me whether I come out first or second because if anyone wants to go down first, it'll be him. That's what you say to that. Did you hear that, ladies and gents? Doesn't matter if he comes out first or second, this guy, yeah? is going to sit Ward on his arse first. So, Ash, when somebody shows you this on Facebook, yeah, you're going on your arse first, even though you are coming out second. Yeah, is that what you're saying? I like that. I like that little prediction, ladies and gentlemen. Jordan's going for his 4-0, and ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause, you know, for this week. We're trying to keep his streak going. And of course, a round of applause for Sean Reed as well, his dad. Great to have two guys, you know, father and son, fighting on the night. Um, Sean, you got anything like that to say to your opponent? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love my job. But I have one phrase I got to Carl told me that you know how to say. Is that right? Earlier on? Yeah. Yeah? Go for it. Into the camera. Are you ready for you, James? Well, if you die, you die. <laughs> <laughs> if you die, you die. <laughs> Two guys that have fought on our show before against different opponents um, are going to be fighting each other and literally everything they raise, uh, their purses, their ticket commission, uh, money raised outside of the ring for other, other events as well, is all going to some fantastic charities. So first of all, um, we're going to get them up, but I want you to please all put your hands together, boxes as well, huge round of applause for Gracie and Lily, ladies and gentlemen. Gracie. <laughs> he actually bought this and sent it to me. He paid 15 quid for it. <laughs> but he wants it back, so. Why does he want it back? Well, no. we'll leave that to your imagination, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, right, okay, so let's talk about the boxing. Now, I see every day Lily put on a, a comment um, like, oh, it's, it's half past two in the morning, I've just done 127 sets of King's Hill steps. 
absolute rubbish. Because first of all, the sun isn't shining at half past two in the morning. Uh, and he hasn't got 172 sets of steps in him, has he? Is that, is that what you think, or, am I, or is he doing this work? No, it's all good. He's a fit fella, but he's going to get battered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you elaborate on the he's going to get battered bit? I can't elaborate. Um, no, no, Lily's a great guy, lad. He's obviously doing it for good cause, but he has trained hard. Um, I'm a bet boxer. I'm going to pepper him with shots. First round, I'll come out and pepper him. I'll probably stop him. And then we'll have a cuddle in the shower after. So they're going to stop each other in the second round. These guys, sorry, Grace is going to stop Lily in the second round. They're going to cuddle each other in the showers afterwards, which is lovely. The ladies and gents, please a round of applause for the Swindon renowned and white collar renowned Mr. Big Phil Williams, ladies and gents. <laughs> Tell me, talk to me about it. What's going to happen? Um, Roman's a very tough opponent. I've never boxed him before. He's um, he's been about for a while. Obviously, as you just said, he he stopped Sean. Um, He's not a hard hitter. I've been hit a lot harder. Carl Madison hits harder. Nick Tuck hits harder. Roman's not gonna, he's not gonna fade me in any way whatsoever with his power. He's very fit. Um, he puts the work in, but I've been putting the work in now, and I'm heading down a new path. So, you know, Roman's gonna get hurt next week. I'm gonna put it on him. Uh, <laughs> the microphone didn't agree with that. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm gonna put it on him. He's gonna, um, he's gonna feel every punch that I've thrown. I'm putting in some big work. Um, new training team, train really hard twice a day. Um, and you know, Roman, as I say, he's gonna get smashed next week. I swear to God. But I'm beating at the races. I've never lost a fight at the races. I won all my titles. I think at the races, and nothing's gonna change next week. So Roman can have a good look at the bout, but he's never gonna touch it because it's only going one way next week. If Garvey wins next week, I'll sing it to him. Guess that's why they call it the Blues in front of everybody at the Oasis Leisure Centre. Alright? Is that? Take off that. Okay, ladies and gents, just quickly for all of you in the audience and the boxes behind you, please put your hands together for everybody. We'd like to thank you very much for coming.